What's up everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Road to Glory Guide, the short FIFA 19 mini-series on EA Access where I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the new FIFA, how to get started on your Road to Glory or even your paid clubs because it's still worth doing this sort of stuff. And in today's episode, the thing that I'm going to be covering is how to make coins. So if you've come onto this video because you need some coins on FIFA basically, make sure you watch the first episode which is all about how to start FIFA. Because I imagine you've come to this video because you're sort of just starting off and you need to make some coins to get yourself your first squad and that one sort of shows you everything you should be doing at the very start to get yourself to 15,000 coins which is where we finished the last episode in a couple of hours basically just doing the start stuff so make sure you've got all of that stuff locked down first well that's the first way to make coins get yourself up 15k very very simply that is all in the first episode however as you can see I've now got 25,000 coins so I made 10k coins in in fact, I can tell you the exact amount of time it took me because I recorded most of the stuff. It's not going to be all in here. We're going to do this live and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But if I go over to the file on my computer, it is a one hour recording. And for half of it, I probably was just sitting there messing about and not doing properly. So it probably took me about 40 minutes, maybe. Maybe half an hour if you properly focused on it. To make 10,000 coins, very, very simply. It's not particularly difficult. I definitely could have made well, well more, but I'm just sort of chilling. I think I was watching the Joe Rogan podcast with TJ Dillashaw and Dwayne Ludwig at the same time and just made 10,000 coins pretty easily. So I'm going to show you how to do that, different ways you can make coins, what tiers you want to be going through and the best ways to make coins. And to be honest, we're just going to crack straight into it. We're just going to jump in straight into the video. First of all, we should probably do comment of the day because we haven't done one of them for a while. So today's comment of the day is Daniel Cohen from the last episode who said, you didn't do comment of the day. So there you go, Daniel. You are now comment of the day. And comment of the day will be happening in all of these episodes, all of the normal Road to Glories. When I remember, like, 99% of the time, we will do them. Sometimes I do forget. But, Daniel, your comment of the day for, day for today. Thank you very much for reminding me that we need to do it. Because with me recording the last series at EA Access, or not EA Access, this is EA Access, at the capture events, there was, I couldn't reply to your comments because I was all recorded before it was uploaded. Anyway, enough of that. First way to make coins is the most simple one. It is absolutely 100% free. All you need to do is log in to the web app. As you can see from some of the pictures that you guys sent me, H2, HK2106 got a 5,000 coin daily gift. I mean, it's literally 5,000 coins for free. And then Connor Ellis tweeted me a picture as well where he got given a gift pack for a daily reward and managed to pack in Bappe in it. So you can get some absolutely ridiculous stuff. If we jump onto mine, if we take a look, if we jump over to my store, I've just got my daily gift for today and I got a League Earn Premium Gold Pack. So it's three League Earn players guaranteed. Mix of gold items. So it's basically a 7.5k pack, but other players are guaranteed to be League Earn is what it is. So it's pretty decent. I mean, we might pack ourselves in Mbappe. At the worst, we've got ourselves a free 7.5k pack, so you can't really complain too much. What are we going to be pulling from this bad boy? It's not a board, unfortunately. We've got ourselves Marcelo, though. That's not too bad, actually. 81 rated, 58 pace isn't the best, 81 defending, 88 physical. He's a little bit of a tank. And it's just, look, I mean, guys, it's free. It's literally free coins. Everything in this pack is 100% free. We can go and discard the stuff that won't sell. For, there's over 450 coins for free. We've got some contracts and fitness cards we can use. And then we've actually got some players who might potentially sell. There you go. Marcelo's a couple of thousand coins. Remy, I doubt, is any coins at all. Nah, he's going to be discard value. Benitez, I doubt, is worth any coin. Okay, he's worth a little bit. Is that because he's an Argentinian goalkeeper in the French League? Okay, so we're going to come on to that in a little bit, actually. And why Benitez is worth a bit of coins. We probably just made ourselves... We sold everything. 3k? It's literally as easy as that. We did absolutely nothing. All we did was log into the web app and yeah, just give us it for free. So this, that's way number one. Make sure you go on the web app. You just get free stuff. The next way is, of course, playing games. Now, the best way, of course, to make coins from playing games is either squad battles, if you're a guy who likes to play offline, or even better than that is division rivals. I've seen loads of people getting like 50k coins for the division rivals because, well, basically nobody played it last week. It, it reset on Thursday, so the only way that you could get it is if you're on the EA Access straight away. Played your placement games and some of the other games so not many people did it but the rewards are actually quite decent if you do go into them much is there a way to I, I need to do my qualification process i think to see do i need to do it to see the rewards yeah you can't oh no okay we're in all right so is this the very bottom division yes yeah, so that's div 10 so to be in div 10 you get basically nothing because i say that this 20k i suppose you got to be the second ranked 
Wait, no. What? Jesus Christ, that's the bottom of Div 10. Top 40% of people in Div 10 get 20k coins. You've got to be joking me. Surely that can't be right. Okay, I think it's a little bit bugged. I'm not really sure how it works. But basically, the point is, you get coins for playing Div Rivals. But the issue with that is you actually need a half-decent team to do well. Otherwise, you're just going to get smashed. And you're going to end up in Div 10. And I highly doubt it's going to give you 20k coins. Really irritating the way you can't see. Or I can't work out the way to make coins. But the point is, player matches obviously get you coins on FIFA. But the issue with it is you haven't really got a very good team to be going and playing matches and making some coins. So you need to make the coins to be able to build a better team. And that is why we are here today. So way number three is squad builder challenges. But again, the issue with that is you need a little bit of capital. However, there is the squad builder challenges can make you profit especially the advanced ones. If you'd like to see a video of me showing you exactly how to do all of these the cheapest way possible, probably won't be the cheapest way possible once I've made a video on it, but if you're quick to it, you can buy them all or you can use them as inspiration to change a couple of the players that get that go in price and stuff like that. It's not particularly difficult, but I can make a video on that and show you guys what we get from the rewards, but you make profit on it. Like that's a rare mega pack. I think it's a 45k pack. Get 12k coins to that one, you get a rare mega pack there again. It's a 45k, it might be a 55k. When you're doing them, I think, is this... A mega pack's a 35k pack, isn't it? A prime gold players pack, I think it's 25k. 15k pack, you get loads of stuff for it basically and you can actually make some coins off doing the SPCs. But again, the issue is you actually need a bit of capital, a bit of coins to be able to do them to buy the players because when you first start off, you've literally just got a starter squad and you haven't got the players to actually trade in for it. So that is where way, method, whatever you want to call it, number four comes in, where you can turn any amount of coins into as many coins as you possibly want. And that is, of course, sniping. In essence, it is the most simple thing in the world. All you are doing is buying players for cheaper than what they are actually worth and selling them on. So if you take a look at this clip, I know that Wilfried Zaha is worth 18,500 coins. I buy one for 15,000 coins as soon as it pops up onto the market. And then I go and list it up for 18.5k. It sells immediately. And let me work out what that is after tax. It's obviously 3,500 coins more than I bought it for. But as I'm sure you guys know, you get charged 5% EA tax. So 18,500 minus the tax, 17,575 coins. So I made 2,575 coins in about six seconds then. Obviously, it's a little bit longer than six seconds because you've got to wait for it to pop up. But when one pops up, buy it, get a list up, sell it straight away, money. It's literally as simple as that. That is how I went from 15k to 25k just from sniping some players. So some of these ones, as you can see here, are these three were in my club and worth some coins, so I sold them on. But the rest of them were sniped. So the first one, oh, we packed that Danny Alves at the end, didn't we, as well, that took us over 15K. This one was a snipe for Anstaldi, and this ties into the SBCs that I was talking about, but you need a bit of coins because some of the players that you need to complete a couple of the really difficult ones have been price fixed to death. There's obviously different ways to do it, but most people are on to basically all of the ways and some of the players are really, really expensive. Like there's only two Argentinian right backs in the whole game that are gold. So then doing the 11 leagues one from, where is it? This one, squad goals, you need 11 leagues, but 100 chems. So you basically need to build a team out of one whole nation. Now this one doesn't work because I don't have enough rare players and this is me just playing around. Loads of people like to do it with Argentina, but unfortunately there is only two gold Argentinian right backs in this game. Zabaleta and Bustos. They're very, very expensive for absolutely no reason, especially I think Zabaleta, like if we, if we pop this onto gold and search the transfer market, you can see they cost stupid coins. It's a 76 rated and they cost ridiculous amounts of coins. So they're good to snipe because they are worth a very inflated value because of the SBCs, which is why there was an, an Ansaldi there for me because I tried it out with Ansaldi. I didn't have too many coins. Sniped them for about 3K, 2.5K, I think, and sold them for 4,200 for a cheeky little bit of profit. The main one, however, that I've, of course, been doing, you guys seen it in the clip, is Wilfried Zahart. You can see it here. Prices do fluctuate a little bit, so you can see when I got picked up these two, this price had changed a little bit and there's a few more on the market. So just be aware of that and make sure you're always checking it when you are doing it. But players like Zahar, who are pretty decent, so people want to buy them. And to the point where they've got a pretty inflated price for their rating. So 20,000 coins for an 82 is a bit mental, let's be honest with you. I know it's the start of FIFA, but it's pretty silly. And like 4,200 coins for a 78 rated non-rare. 
stupid. They're the players you want to be picking up because people will buy them off you for them prices, but there's other people who don't know that they're that expensive and will list them up cheaper. Even people who just want a quick sale, like they'll click on, they'll compare Zahar's price, they'll see, oh, he's going, people have listed them up. It's like people will pack themselves will free Zahar, come over to here, go like that and go, okay, people are paying about 15, 17, thousand coins from just list them up for 15,000 get them sold straight away and then I buy them and relist them for 18 and a half and make the profit so it's very very easy to do so people like Zaha, Rashford, Premier League ones are good because people like them it's the most popular league so it's easy to sell the players on but you guys can think up your own it's not very difficult I'm going to run you guys through the basics of the stuff that you need to know for doing it but actually choosing which players to snipe isn't massively necessary if you can be clever about it and set up a filter that brings in multiple players at the same time. So I'll give you guys one. I haven't used this because it's not particularly in my price range anymore. But if you go to Premier League, left mid, put this on Brazilian. Rather than just sniping one player like Zahar, the cheapest Premier League Brazilian is Richarlison and Kennedy, the non-rare ones. So they go for about 2,000 coins. But obviously, they're non-rare. People might list them off like 600, maybe 1,000 and stuff like that. And if you get super, super, super lucky, if I flip this onto Everton, you guys will be able to see that there is a Bernard who is worth about 4 or 5k. So if you get super lucky and some idiot lists this guy up for minimum price, you've just made an absolute fortune. But realistically, you're looking for Richarlison's and Kennedy's. And rather than just trying to snipe one of them, the filter allows multiple to come up and it's better to do it that way. But it's, it really doesn't matter too much who you are sniping so long as you're going for players that are going to regularly come out of packs with a decent little profit margin and you can get them sold on straight away so your coins aren't tied up in them players. It's as simple as that really when it comes to who to snipe. So there's kind of a few things, who to do it on, how to do it, and what you should be careful of and make sure you're gonna do it. So that's who to do it on. To be honest, it's really kind of up to you guys to just do as you please. How you do it is very, very simple and the intricacy that you need to make sure. So I'm gonna show you guys with Wilfried Zahar because that is who I have been doing with but feel free to like i said just make up your own ones and do it with any players you want now this is where it gets interesting if you guys have never done this before you might not be quite familiar with it so zahar is currently sells within a minute and a half for 18k so we're going to say he's worth about eighteen thousand coins there's a couple of them up for okay there's a few of them up for just under it but they'll probably get shipped done so we're going to maybe say seventeen thousand seven hundred and fifty. so we want to get one for less than 16k make ourselves a thousand coins after tax. It's not too shabby. Obviously, nothing is coming up searching the market. Now, if I just say nothing, nothing, and just keep searching the market, this isn't sniping and this won't work. The reason for it is because the computer or the server or whatever it is that is doing the searching on Ultimate Team caches a search. So what happens here is if I do a fresh search by changing one of the parameters, it searched and it said, oh, okay, Wilfred Zahar, 150 coins min, 4.98 million max and 16K max by now, there's nothing there. So if I say okay and press search again, rather than researching, all it does is look at the last time that that was searched five seconds ago and say, nope, there's nothing there. It doesn't exist. It's nothing available for that price. If I click again, it just keeps doing the same thing. So even if someone did list as a heart up on the market for that price, it wouldn't actually show up. So what you need to make sure you do is every single time you research. That was that one was. See, did you see the way that one was up for a couple of seconds? Because it's the, that's the way the market works. But that's got nothing to do with the cachet. Unfortunately, I was talking to you guys and I just missed one for seven thousand coins. That's such a bargain. That was like ten k profit right there. See, people are stupid. They get listed up. But basically, as you could see with that, with regards to there was a Zahar on the market, it didn't disappear straight away, even though someone had bought it. So you've got to be there straight away to buy it. And similarly, if you search for something and it says there's nothing there, it doesn't research immediately. Like it will still be looking at that last search, the cache of it and being like, no, you searched that five seconds ago. There's nothing there. There definitely isn't anything there still. No, it's the same thing. And it's not researching and sending a new request to the market each time. So to do that, you need to make sure you are changing your parameters every single time so the easiest way to do this is there's two different ways to do it based on how, which way you guys are most comfortable with you press a change the price press b press y nothing comes up so you confirm it press a again left b y or if you're on xbox it's x left circle triangle or you can do it by pressing a then the left bumper which bumps the price down 10 b and then search so it's the same thing make that the problem with that one is you do that quite a lot 
So when you get into the rhythm of it, it looks like that. It's exactly the same thing. Instead of flicking the price down one with the left analog stick or the left button, you are flicking it down one with LB. It really doesn't matter. You can go up if you want. It makes absolutely no difference just so long as you're doing a unique search every single time. That is the only intricacy for searching and then you just need to be as fast as you possibly can when that pops up to click on them, go down to buy now, click the A, click up, click A. It just takes a little bit of practice to be honest with you, honest with you and you just start picking up the bargains. Unfortunately, I can't believe that's the cheapest one I've seen so far from doing this a little bit and we missed it because I was talking to you guys and showing you how not to search and that of course that is when he finally pops up when I'm showing you guys how not to do it. But should we sit here for a little second and see if we can pick one up and show you guys how it works? But that's basically it, to be honest. If you just do this with multiple players, you can go and do mass bidding as well if you want, but I don't find it's particularly effective at the moment because there's only 600,000 things on the market. There's not massive amounts, massive and massive amounts of stuff up for sale. So people that are trying to buy stuff are all concentrated on a very small amount of cards, if that makes sense. There's less amount to slip through. So as if there was like, three million things on the market. The odds of a card slipping through for cheap on a bid is five times more likely. Whereas at the moment, there's not that many cards floating around. So the ones that are there tend to be going for the right amount of prices, at least more regularly anyway, on the bid market, especially if you guys are on PS4 as well, because there's even less stuff over there because nobody's got access to the full game. So that's the way you do it. It's very, very, very simple. You just need to make sure that it is a unique search every single time you search. And even better, there's obviously gonna be other people doing this. So if you wanna make it even more specific, just put obvious stuff on. Like obviously he's over min price of 150. Obviously his min by now is more than 150. You can put a two fit, you can put whatever you want. Just because that will make it different to somebody else's search. So there could be someone else who started on five mil searching for Zahar at the same time as me. And all I'm doing is picking up his caches. Do you see what I mean? And it's just showing me his old searches when he got nothing. So you need to make sure it's extra specific just to you and do a different search every single time. Other than that, literally the most simple way to make coins ever. It doesn't take particularly much effort. It just takes a little bit of time and having a little bit of knowledge of the market and who you should be going for, who's popular and who to pick up. There's a couple of them there for you guys to try. Try and get yourself some Zahars, try and get yourself some Rashfords. And if that doesn't work, go for some players like Lee. Nations from popular nations like France, Spain, Argentina, Italy, stuff like that. In positions that aren't very well filled out for gold. So for example, like the Argentinian right backs or in leagues where the gold players, there is only one of them because of the SPC. So there's a French goalkeeper in the second French league that is gold. Now, if you want 11 different leagues from French players, it's a good idea to use the second French league, but there's only one gold goalie and he costs 5K. So if you can pick him up for 600 coins, you make an absolute bank. It's as simple as that, really. It's unfortunate that we didn't pick up that 7k one while I was here because that would have just made me another 10,000 coins. But I'm going to go away and try and make some more coins. I will come back with you guys for another video showing you guys some good starter squads if you want it, how to do all of the SPT. But for now, that is the most simple way on FIFA 19 to make coins. It's super easy. I don't want to say super quick because you do need to put some time into it and a little bit of effort. But if you want to get yourself a decent squad for free, that is the way to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was episode two of the Road to Glory guide. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all of your comments. I will be reading them all and doing comments of the day tomorrow. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, like I said, and I'll see you guys next time.